Hey guys, so I'm super excited for today's video. Today we are working on our 2000 Viking pop-up that we just picked up from Derek's family a couple weeks back. And it's in really, really good condition for how old it is. It just needs some sprucing up. It's a little bit dated on the inside. And we've already cleaned the outside a little bit, cleaned the vinyl on the inside. I cleaned that as well. And we'll, we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, I'm going to give you all a little tour. And then um, we'll start painting. So the two main things, we're taking it camping this the end of this month. We've got a church family camping trip at the end of this month, so we're going to go in and, and take this, um, take our pop-up. So I want to paint the cabinets, and um, we have purchased some vinyl plank flooring. Really cheap, affordable, um, waterproof flooring that we're going to put in the, the floor. Um, so those are the two main things. Um, that we want to get done before we go camping. And so super excited for how this transformation is going to turn out. So let's get started. <music> I'll show you the outside really quick. And um, it's not all the way up. We can't put it all the way up in our, our garage. And um, we decided to work on it in the garage. And that way, um, if there's bad weather or anything, you won't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Um, it definitely needs to be cleaned really good on the outside. It's just such a cute little pop-up. Um, and then when you come on the inside, here's the floors. We've got to get the rest of those cushions out. We plan on covering those cushions with material and um, there were curtains hanging I'm going to put new curtains get new material and make new curtains well I say me I'm gonna have somebody help me um, there's two bunks and then this can be made there's a table that goes here we've already brought it out but there's a table that goes here and this can be made into a twin size I believe bed as well so plenty of room for our family for sure we've only got three so we'll probably um, let Abby sleep on one side and then we will sleep on the other. I believe these are full size mattresses that go on these bunks, um, but one of them is bigger and I think it's this one over here that's bigger. Could be wrong, don't quote me on that. But yes, yeah, so as you can see, um, it's just a little, a uh, little bit dated, a little, little bit of, it was made in the uh, year 2000, but um, yeah, definitely got the 90s vibe going on with the pattern cushions there. Um, but like I said, it's in really good condition for the how old it is. It was taken care of very well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take all of the hardware off, the doors that I can take off and wanted to take off. Um, and we'll get started on painting the um canvas on the inside looks really good um post a picture of what it looks like before it's a little bit dirty from where we put it down already it's got a few spots that i have to clean again but um huge improvement it no longer smells like um mildew um i used oh gosh what's it called starbright canvas cleaner something i know the the brand was starbright but and it worked super well. Here's the sink. I know that the sink does not uh, work properly. I'm not 100% sure what was exactly wrong with it. But I don't even know if we're going to. I know this folds down for when you're putting it up. I'm, I have thought about just taking the sink out and having Derek cover up this little hole here um, but I'm not 100% sure yet so I will update you guys on that or maybe he'll get the sink working again who knows but for now we're just gonna worry about painting open these flaps let some natural light in and um, remove the hardware 
The prep work, I think, is the worst. Um, it's just so tedious. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to take the hardware out and sand down. These are not actual wood cabinets. So, I'm going to sand them down just enough to where the paint will stick. I just bought, I believe the brand is Glidden from Walmart. Paint right now is absolutely ridiculous, guys. Um, it's absolutely crazy. $27 uh, for this gallon at Walmart, and that was the most affordable that I could find at Lowe's. $48 for a can of paint. I'm sorry to all those that have that are painting their whole house at the moment because ooh, that's that's a very steep price for paint. Um but everything's going up, right? Um what else? Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we are going to go ahead and put these flaps down so we can get some natural lighting in here. And then we are going to start removing the hardware. We are so excited to go camping in this pop-up. So a little backstory, we were given this um, by Derek's grandparents a few years back and um, we have been meaning to renovate it for quite some time, but uh, never got around to it. We moved and um, within the past year and it was just um, never gotten to. Um, we had other priorities, so um, we left it in Kentucky when we moved here to Georgia and recently just picked it back up um, and I decided that I wanted to go ahead and start working on it. What better time than the present? So i um, super excited and um, we like camping but like I said we've just been so busy so when I knew that we were going to be camping um, here in March with our church. I told Derek, I was like, the only way that I'm going to go camping on this camping trip is if we have the pop-up because it's so nice because you have air conditioning and you have electric. Um, and it's just the conveniences of <laughs> um, just having those modern day conveniences um, is nice. I just, I don't do the tent camping. Just not how Teresa does it. So. Um, we, we love camping and being outdoors and I am just so excited to take this camping and make all the family memories together in here. I realized that this light switch um, is all attached so decided to tape this off instead of removing it. Oh, I hate taping things off, guys. It's just so tedious. The worst part of painting, in my opinion. So, I am an impatient person. That's one of my weaknesses. I am not a very patient person. And doing all the prep work, oh my gosh, it just kills me. But I've learned to take my time when it comes to prep work. Because if you take your time with the prep then it just makes the whole, the rest of the process so much smoother. So now I am sanding this down. I'm not sure what kind of, it's not wood, I know that. Um, it's like particle, particle wood. I think that's what it's called. Sorry, um, me and my husband were discussing if we wanted to keep the sink in or not, and we decided that we were going to, going to take the sink out. But anyways, um, yes, um, this is particle wood, and um, can't really sand, sand it down, um, because obviously it's not real wood. So I'm just lightly sanding it enough so the paint will have something to stick to 
and I believe that I mentioned it in the video but want to go ahead and say that I decided to go with semi-gloss paint just because I am painting um, the paint color that I went with is white um, and I know for a fact that it will get dirty easily and will show a lot so I wanted something that I could easily clean so that's why I went with the semi-gloss. Now I am wiping all the dust and everything off of these cabinets and um, we're just gonna call it wood. Um, I know it's not real wood, but we're just gonna call it wood. Um, getting all that wiped down so we can start painting moment of truth. And I am using a foam roller brush that I got. I just got all my supplies from Walmart. That was the cheapest that I could find everything at. Um, just, I know that I already said it, but it just blows my mind how expensive everything is getting. So um, we wanted to do this project um, on the cheapest cheaper side we didn't want to spend too much money on it so um tried to spend as least amount of money as possible so i got all the supplies from walmart anyways um got off on a tangent there um using a foam brush roller to apply this paint here to the cabinet doors and my daughter <laughs> Oh my goodness, she just makes everything so much easier. But she she just was just sitting there watching me paint. Um, wanted to get in that paint so bad, guys. I could see it in her face. <laughs> and watching these videos back is so satisfying. I love watching um, painting videos, just seeing the transformation take place. I wish it was um, as enjoyable to actually do as it was to watch. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with painting. I um, am always excited to get started and then right around the middle of the project, I'm like, oh my gosh, can this just be done? <laughs> um, but it's always um, so worth it in the end. I could speak to my past self and tell myself, Teresa, take that tape off when the paint is wet. Um, when I took this painter's tape off after everything had dried, it um, stuck to the paint and peeled some of the paint off. So it kind of defeated the purpose of having the painter's tape there, but you live and you learn, right? Thankfully, um, I knew we were putting flooring down so I didn't have to worry about getting paint on the floor. Um, I feel like that would have made the process just a little bit longer, but thankfully I didn't have to worry about it and didn't have to work around it.
right guys we are on day two of painting hopefully we can get all the painting done today um i'm gonna be in and out taking care of abby so we'll see um but it looks really good so far i have one i have two coats on the cabinet doors and then two coats on half of the pop-up and then the other half i've only got one so um, I tried my best to get two coats done yesterday and it just didn't happen, but that's okay. We're going to get it done. Um, but it's always nice to have a fresh perspective, to take a break um, and then come back and see the progress because it, I think it looks really good. I was hoping I would only need two coats, but I think we're going to have to do three. Um, I just got the paint that has paint and primer in it, so I guess it would um, be the same difference if I had a a coat of primer and then two coats of paint so but let me show you the progress that we've made and um, let's Here get the back. cabinet doors um I think I'm gonna need another coat um, on the outside but the t the the fronts look good I don't know I don't think I'm gonna need another coat on these just um, touch up the outside a little bit, but it looks good. And then here's the drawers. I'm going to stick these out here. Okay, so I've got two coats over here on this side. And then starting right here, we've got one coat. It already looks so much brighter, though. Um, Derek, he was looking at it yesterday. He said it kind of makes the countertops look gray. And you know something? I'm kind of not mad about the color of the countertops. My original plan was to put contact paper on top. But I don't know, guys. I kind of like the green, but I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I don't know if we're going to get to that. Um... If we decide to put contact paper before we go camping, but, um, and then this, I think we have decided that when we went camping last time in our pop-up, we didn't use the sink, and I'm pretty sure there's something wrong with it, but, um, we decided that we are going to leave this here, put like a little USB hub, he's going to cut a little, um, cut a piece out of here, make this a little bit bigger, and, put in a USB hub there so we have um, somewhere that we can charge our phones that's convenient and easy to get to so uh, looks it's coming together guys slowly but surely pay no mind to my hair and my outfit <laughs> I literally look like I just rolled out of bed I, I was as I was editing this I was like man Teresa you look rough
Hey guys, we're now on day three of working on the pop-up. I'm pretty sure I've got all the painting done. I spray painted the hardware here. I've got to spray paint the bottom of the knobs, but the actual hinges should be good to install. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to get started on the flooring. And I'm most excited about that because I know it's just going to completely transform the whole pop-up. Um, let me show you how it's looking so far. Here's the hardware, and I did spray paint the right side this time. Um, in my last video when I used spray paint, I had spray painted the wrong side of the hardware. But did not make that mistake this time. And now I'm going to spray paint the bottom, the sides. The tops look really good. Uh, focus, there we go. Tops look really good, so I'm going to do that. coat done on the cabinets and everything I think it looks really good I used I don't know if I've mentioned this or not I used semi gloss so I would be able to clean it very um, very good I wouldn't have a problem cleaning it because I know everybody's screaming, why in the world would you paint um, something that's going to get dirty white? You're going to notice everything. But guys, I just, I can't help it. I love white. And I know what I'm doing. I know, I know what I did. And I'm just going to have to pay for it, I guess. But it should come pretty, uh, clean. it should come clean pretty easily um, since I did use my gloss, so. And then here are the doors. So let's get the hinges back on. Go ahead and get the doors on. And then we can install the knobs at a later time. Now that we have gotten all the painting done, the hardest part is over for me anyways. Um, I'm going to put the hardware back on. And this process went so smoothly because I put all of the screws and hardware in a Ziploc bag to um, keep it all in the same place. So it just made this process really easy.
say that a lot of my tips and tricks and um, inspiration for this pop-up transformation <laughs> came from another YouTube channel here um, called It's Poppin'. Um, they are absolutely amazing. This is free advertising for them um, from my small little channel, but um, their tips and trips have helped me so much and I wanted to just give them a shout out and if you are um, needing any help or advice um, for your pop-up transformation, I would go to them first for sure because their channel is dedicated solely just to pop-ups and um, maintenance tips and tricks and um, stuff that you can do um, to make the process a little bit easier as you are transforming your pop-up campers. Now I am vacuuming and mopping the floor, just making sure that the floor is super clean um, before we put down this vinyl flooring. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get started on this flooring. This is the flooring that I got. The It's called Fawn Oak. You see it? It's really pretty, but I'm a little intimidated because I've never done anything like this before, but I've watched <laughs> uh, several YouTube videos, and it seems pretty straightforward, So, and it's not a big surface area, so... Hoping that it only takes one box. I did get another box just in case, but let's get started. Okay guys, so I almost did not include this footage in the video just because I'm a little bit embarrassed. Um, this was um, a huge failure on my part. Amateur hour over here. Learned a few lessons though, so I wanted to include it in here um, just so you all know what not to do um so i when i bought this flooring i thought that it was peel and stick flooring i never done it before so i watched um some youtube videos newbie over here watched some youtube videos to see how it was done it looked pretty simple straightforward and i was like okay um, and you can see my husband takes over here <laughs> Um, it comes in to save the day. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try to do this myself. My husband was out working and I just wanted to, um, get it done because like I said, I'm an impatient person and I just wanted it done. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try to do this myself. I opened the box and it's not feeling stick flooring. It's click tile vinyl flooring, not peel and stick. Um, and the process is just a little different than peel and stick. Um, so you see where he has these um, little spacers here and he has a little tool that helps you hammer these tiles in place um, instead of having them stick to the ground. 
I sound like an amateur as I'm talking and saying this. Um, but me being the impatient person that I am, decided that I was going to see and still see if I could put the flooring down. At the time, I did not have any of the tools that I needed to put this kind of flooring down. I got like half the flooring down. It was so frustrating because it was hard to get the tiles, um, the planks put in place without the hammer and the tools. And um, I decided just to give up <laughs> for the day. And I told my husband, I was like, okay, you're gonna have to do the rest of this because I'm just so frustrated and I'm over it. Um, needless to say, he comes in and he has to take all the flooring up. We have to end up buying another box um, that he could have gotten done. He could have got the whole floor done with two boxes. I ended up having to buy another box because of the way that I cut the planks. Um, it was just, it's just a whole ordeal. Long story short, um, lesson learned, take your time and do not take shortcuts when doing anything, um, any projects like this. Because literally we paid for it. I paid for it. I felt so bad. Um, I wish that I could have just, looking back, been patient and let my husband take care of it. Um, I learned that I need to stay in my lane and vinyl flooring apparently is not in my lane. Um, so yeah, lesson learned there. Um, but I just wanted to share that story with y'all because, um, I could easily have edited myself, um, out doing that and just, um, shown my husband here working on it and it would have been fine, but, um, as I've said before, I want to be genuine with you guys, and um, there were lessons learned during this process. So, um, yeah, um, I guess I said all that to say this. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. Get the right supplies, and you will be thankful that you did in the end. <laughs>once again guys we are in the pop-up it's been a few days since we um, I have updated y'all on um, how it's going and we are almost done we are right there at the finish um, the flooring looks great so my husband ended up having to put it down uh, to say the least he put it down and it looks good um, and he also put down trim I'll show y'all in a second I need to caulk the trim and there's just a few spots that needs touching up with paint <laughs> every time I put the paint up I'm like okay I'm done painting and then I come back in here and I'm like no I'm not done painting so let me show y'all what it looks like and I apologize it is a mess from where we've been working on it we've got stuff out of the cabinets 
Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be doing the touch-up paint caulking. Hopefully that won't take too long. I know better now than to say that it won't take long. Say that it ends up taking longer than expected. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Clean up in here and then we should be good to get the beds made and start organizing the cabinets see what we've got and see what we need see what we need for our camping trip next weekend and get it ready to go all right guys so here is the flooring all put it down and finished in the trim just think it looks so good um you can see the spots. I'm going to definitely have to put caulking down around the tree. I'm going to put caulking down around this piece of support right here. It's come away from the wall. Hopefully that will help it to look a little better. You see right here these spots. I'm going to caulk those. And look, this white is already showing all the dust. <laughs> you see it's already got some marks on it. But... It's what I asked for, isn't it, when I painted it white? Um, but I'm going to do a little bit of touching up around here, around this. Where else was there? I'm only going to paint where these nail holes are. Um, and I don't know if I want to paint right there or not. You can see, you can only see it when you're like right here. When you're sitting right here, and I don't think I'm going to worry about it. You can see that's right there. I'm not too worried about it, so, um, my husband must have fixed this somehow. Yeah, let's go ahead and, um, get this, the rest of this painted and caulked. Um, oh yeah, also right here, um, I did not think, I thought we were going to put a piece of contact paper over this shelf we decided to keep the sink out um but for now i'm not going to worry about it so i'm going to have to see if i can get that paint off should come off with this scraper no no problem
guys how good it felt to get that last nail hole painted and all the paint supplies put up were the final time I was over the painting. Um, now I am scraping off the excess paint that got on the countertops and then um, we are going to start decorating my favorite part of any project. And for the couch cushion covers, I don't know if I mentioned it yet. I forget what all I say. Um, I ordered these on Amazon. Um, I believe they were $10 a piece. So um, $40 for them all together. Um, and they, they work. They definitely, they're not the right size, but they work for now. They just get that... Um, that old 90s fabric covered up for now and eventually I will probably um, get material to cover all of that up because you can still see some of it um, on the back there. Let me tell y'all this was a task getting these beds made um, especially since the pop-up was not all the way sat up. <laughs> As I said, I'm in a patient and I wanted to go ahead and get it decorated and see what it looked like. I was just so excited to get this done. Um, when I finished everything, I had Derek come look at it and I was just grinning ear to ear the whole time. He's like, are you happy? I was like, yes, I'm so happy with it. I love how it turned out. Um, putting this rug down. I got a lot of these decorations from Five and Below, and this rug was one of them, $5, and I was not expecting it to be as big as it was. I bought two of them because I thought they were going to be smaller, um, but no, they were pretty decent size, so I ended up having to fold it and put it in to, for it to fit in front of the bunk there. a super extra long curtain rod from Amazon and got these curtains from Walmart. There's just something about decorating that makes a, a space feel so inviting and cozy and it, you just, it makes you want to stay in that space. And I absolutely love that feeling. quickly wanted to hop on and say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed watching the transformation take place. I love watching videos like this and seeing the before and the after and how drastic of a difference um, just a little bit of paint and new flooring can make. It's absolutely crazy, but thank you for watching. I just got done 
organizing all of the cabinets and getting it ready for our camping trip this weekend. We are super excited. Still lots more to do. I've got to go get food and a few other things that I need for the camping trip, but nevertheless, anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below and say hi, and I will see you all in a brand new video next Sunday and hope you have a wonderful and blessed week. I'll see y'all next Sunday. Bye.